I am Jack Despo. I am a senior. Uh, and my argument is whether or not the Trail of Tears ordered by Andrew Jackson was constitutional or not. Andrew Jackson is a personal favorite of mine. He's a, he was the, he's my second favorite uh, president ever behind FDR. And he was, was one heck of a Democrat. Oh, <clears throat> Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of the United States. Uh, he was known for improving enfranchisement, which is the right to vote. Um, <coughs> He acquired the territory of Florida, and he was the first Democrat. Um, he was also known for the expulsion of the five civilized tribes, which were the Cherokee, Creek, Seminole, Chickasaw, and Choctaw. And this expulsion was better known as the Trail of Tears. Um, my argument is that it has been looked at in the past as a very immoral, which it, it was immoral, very immoral act but also an unconstitutional act. I think that it is more arguable than has been looked at in the past that it may have been constitutional. My reasoning for this is, to start, John Marshall ordered in the court case, um, or he ruled in the court case, Worcester versus Georgia, that all tribes were a nation inside of the nation of the United States, meaning that the uh, Cherokee Nation, for example, was its own country just inside of the borders of the country of the United States of America. In, with, in disregard of that ruling, uh, Andrew Jackson still expelled the Indians in the Trail of Tears. Native Americans. Um, uh, uh, in the Constitution, which is the ruling government of the United States, the preamble states, we the people of the United States of America in order to form a form a more perfect union, and so on and so forth. Therefore, stating that the Constitution and the government only protects citizens of the United States. The tribes, being a nation inside of a nation, were not citizens and the people of the United States of America. Therefore, when Andrew Jackson ordered military action to expel the Native Americans, uh, it was simply in defense of his country and of his people underneath the ruling of the Constitution. Therefore, it was a more constitutional act than, I argue, it was a more constitutional act than previously thought out, and I'd like to just reopen the argument and state next. And that is my presentation. Go Andrew Jackson. <laughs>